So today I just thought we'd do something fun and we'd talk about mom moments. And it can be something like, you know, that blowout, the diaper blowout in the middle of church or that terribly uncomfortable and inappropriate thing that your kid asked a stranger at Target. I mean, there's so many options. I mean, if you've been a mom for more than five seconds, you've had a mom moment. And so I'm going to share my mom moment with you and you can share yours in the comments below. So I will start by sharing the story that happened when my son was three, we were potty training him and I get this idea in my head where I think, okay, it probably would make sense for him to go commando. And that way, when when he, the urge to pee comes along, like there's a smaller barrier for, you know, getting him on the potty and going, you know, cause it happens like that, you know, I have to pee and then he's already peeing, right? So I'm like, okay, let's go commando and then we can pull the pants off and get him on the potty and then we're good to go. <clears throat> and that, you know, that whole idea sounded really good in my head. Um, but like saying it out loud right now, I'm thinking, why would I think that was a good idea? But I did it. And then this one day we're walking around. My son is commando. We're walking around the store, um, at home, which is huge. I mean, acres and acres of home decor. Okay. And it's kind of like a Sam's Club or a Costco for home decor if you don't have one in your area. So we're walking down the aisles and my son looks up at me and he says, Mommy, I gotta go poopy. And the word poopy had barely graced his lips before a turd fell out his pant leg onto the floor in the middle of the store. I mean, it was sizable. Like, I mean, we're talking like a good, good toddler turd, okay? So I am just frozen like with horror at what just happened because I have nothing to clean this turd up with, right? And I'm faced with this decision. Do I pick him up and run? the 10 miles of the other, other end of the store to let him finish his business because he's clearly not finished. I mean, he has the poop face and we all know what that face looks like, like the red, but anyway, or do I just like try and call an employee by to try and pick up the turd? And I just made a split second decision that, that I'm not really proud of. Okay. I picked him up like held him at arm's length so that he wouldn't poop anymore on me. And I just ran. I mean, left, I left the cart, everything. And we ran to the other end of the store and I set him on the toilet. And I'm glad I did that on one hand because he pooped for another 45 minutes, okay? And the whole time I'm like, my pits are sweating, my face is sweating, everything is sweating because I'm thinking about this turd laying in the middle of the floor and just imagining the security people looking at the security cameras as I ran away from the turd and left it there for someone else to clean up. And I'm just like, hurry up kid, like finish pooping. That's what I was, I kept telling Maverick, you gotta hurry up. Let's, let's keep, let's get it going. Okay. So he finally finished and I slowly made my way back to the turd to clean it up. I brought some, I was gonna do the right thing, you know? And I brought some paper towel and there it was waiting for me. So I cleaned it up, thankfully, and I don't even know if anyone saw it, but <laughs> I can tell you that I've never been back to that store. So that's my mommy moment. <laughs> And I just wanted to share that with you to know that you are not alone. If you have had one of these experiences, I want to hear about it. So post it in the comments below and I hope you have a great day. Bye.